Now, Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, currently on a tour of the Middle East, has declared Tokyo's determination that a mass human tragedy on the scale of the Holocaust should never be repeated again. The message during a visit to the Holocaust Memorial in Jerusalem. Uh, he made those comments, but Abe failed to make any mention of his country's, his own country's wartime atrocities. Our Hwang Sangi reports. Laying a wreath at the Holocaust Memorial in Jerusalem on Monday, Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe condemned the war crimes committed by Nazi Germany. Today, I learned how merciless humans can be by singling out a group of people and making them the object of discrimination and hatred. Abe recalled Chinue Sugihara, a Japanese diplomat who saved thousands of Jews during World War II. Chiyune Sugihara gave hope to Jewish refugees by signing transit visas for them to escape to Japan. A senior Japanese foreign ministry official said the message was to cover Abe's overall diplomacy for this year, which falls on the 70th anniversary of the war's end. But Abe made no mention of Japan's own wartime atrocities, such as its sexual enslavement of some 200,000 women, many of whom were Korean. Such acts are seen as part of Abe's efforts to dispel international misgivings that he's trying to revise history. Korea and China, the major victims of Japan's militaristic past, continue to call on Tokyo to issue a sincere apology for its past wrongdoings. While Tokyo's relations with its neighbors remain at a historic low, all eyes are on the so-called Abe Statement to be issued in August, which is expected to express Japan's remorse over the war. Hwang Sang-hee, Arirang News.